Sean, you got a nice start with a doubles win, and it was an emotional win. Take me through that week. Yeah, no, just uh, you know, haven't been in the winner's circle in a while, and uh, getting an opportunity to help someone win their first title, uh, which is a dream come true to every player to, to win that you know first one and just host that trophy. Uh, just extremely special for Matt Ogle and I, and it was just so much fun to be a part of that event. And the big time PBA playoffs coming up, and you've got a nice points. Uh, uh, cash heading into the year just your thoughts on what you're looking to do to maintain consistency for the for the entire season well the biggest thing is just staying consistent working out a little bit more than i thought i would ever have to uh and now at 36 years old i i never would have dreamt that i'd have to watch what i eat and work out a little bit just to keep up with the next generation uh you always think that you're in you know impossible of losing the the reign of whatever um but these guys are really good now and it's uh it's kind of a, a kick in the gut to to do it so uh, just really excited to what the PBA is doing with the, the sport of bowling uh, with flow sports um, flow bowling the Fox deal the, the summer swing the China deal I mean everything this year it's like a dream come true all over again it's we can pick and choose where we want to bowl and it's like a candy jar you know just hey I want to go win every one of them and then finally uh, bowling with CP3 and supporting the CP3 foundation some of your favorite memories of bowling in this event what what comes to mind for you uh, just coming out here to support this charity and this cause that what Chris has done throughout the United States you know it started back in New Orleans it was in LA and now we're here in Houston uh, what he's done for the communities that he's been a part of is just something extremely special uh, so thankful to be a part of it happy that we can you know be here some of my greatest memories just watching um, you know Chris win uh, you know last year with Norm uh, calling out some of the other guys um, you know watching Jesse Williams win the one year and uh, T.O. storming off, you know, not even getting through the first round when he's one of the best bowlers here. And, and then Mookie, you know, coming in over the last couple of years and Chris basically telling him you're not allowed back. Uh, but these guys are great people, uh, great athletes, and, and do a lot for their respective communities. I've seen this man win at Miller Park. He's going to get in the PBA Hall of Fame someday as a player of the year. Sean Rash, have fun today. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Rash, Rash.